ovarian cancer is challenging. You know, cervical cancer, you have pap smears. Breast cancers, you have mammograms. So ovarian cancer, the symptoms are very nonspecific. They're bloating, they're GI upset, they're very nonspecific. Your clothes fit tight, um, just nonspecific findings. And so the problem is we don't have good symptoms. It's not like you have bleeding. It's not like you have acute pain. It was just basically a flu-like symptoms with a fever. And so I went to the doctor and they admitted me to the hospital for further testing. And, and I found out I had ovarian cancer, which was quite a surprise because I didn't have the typical symptoms, which are bloating and, and um, weight gain and back aches. I didn't have any of that. I might have put them all together and said, maybe I should go get checked, you know. But I did not do that because I felt, I felt very well, you know. I played tennis that morning and felt well and uh, had no idea what was happening to me when I did get the pain then that afternoon. So um, I was very surprised at the diagnosis. By the time you find it, it's often advanced yeah, with spread to the abdomen and sometimes that's what's giving you those nonspecific symptoms. I started testing way back when because of our family history. Um, I have had probably every test known to man. Um, I've had BRAC1, BRAC2, I've had um, the BART test, which is the follow-up for, for BRAC1 and 2. I've had others and everything comes back negative, negative, negative and where my sisters were positive, I'm always negative. We see that quite often. Usually what will happen is someone will get a cancer and they'll say, am I linked? And the sister will have a genetic defect and the patient won't. And ironically, the patient's the one with the cancer and they don't have the genetic defect and the sister does. Well, now you have an opportunity to prevent that cancer in that sister because you know she's at high risk. Treatment I had was surgery and then that was followed up about a month later with chemotherapy and I have been receiving chemotherapy in different doses, in different forms ever since then. Right now I'm in a treatment that goes every 21 days. I was found to have the uh, BRAC2 variant, and um, which means that I possibly could have a, a predisposition to breast cancer, so I must be more vigilant. And in addition yearly to the mammogram, I also get a breast MRI. It gives the patients the opportunity to choose whatever they, they're comfortable doing, and they can take it to whatever extreme. By having that information, it gives them power to choose. And I think that's really what we want to do. We want the patients to have that opportunity to choose, because if you don't have the test, you don't know. Dr. Fiorica is a diamond in the rough. He has obviously saved my life and um, he's a kind, gentle man, and um, I just can't say enough about him. He's just, he's a gem. <laughs> Many hospitals do not have this specialty, so we're very fortunate.